episode of Seasons in the Creation, and I know it's been a long time since I uploaded another video, so sorry, but today I have another video talking all about the solar system. So, for kids which don't know the solar system, so our solar system consists of one star and eight planets. So the first, so our star is the sun, and eight planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. So let's go with our first, first is the sun. So the sun here is the heart of our solar system, which is very, very old, like 4.6 billion years old, 4.5, so it formed our solar system and gave us light and heat, and it's basically an entire nuclear reactor, so yeah, it's very hot, and it has two storms. Also has spots. Yes, surprisingly, spots. So now, moving on to Mercury, our first planet. So, Mercury is this far away from the sun, but not in real life. It will be very much farther. So it takes 88 days to complete a single orbit which means the time for it to go around the sun. So it actually orbits an elliptical orbit, which is an oval. So here it will be at its farthest point, but as it orbits, it will come closer to the sun. It orbits faster, and when it comes there, it will become slower. So that is what takes it to come 88 days. Next is Venus. The hell planet, as we like to call it. That's kick. So this is approximately how far away it is from the sun, but not to scale. So Venus is named at the Ro after the Roman god of beauty, and it's the second brightest object in the night sky. That's because it reflects a lot of light. It also has a greenhouse effect, which lots of carbon dioxide inside its thick atmosphere of methane, carbon monoxide, which stores heat and makes it so hot. It's hotter than mercury, in fact. It, that's because in, in daytime, it can be so hot until you can die. And the pressure there is so high that you will get crushed in an instant. And yeah, I told I tell you. Do not ever even try to visit Venus. But they were attempts to land on Venus by the Soviet Union in the 1980s, I believe, or the 1970s, I forgot. But yeah, but they just lasted for a few minutes and boom, they're gone because of the pressure. And finally, our, the third planet, Earth. Ah, the planet we love it. Earth. So Earth is this far away from the sun. What makes it habitable, which means it able to live in a planet that's able, able to be living, is that it's in the Goldilocks zone, where water will be evaporated and not become solid ice at all. It's too cold. So that's called the Goldilocks zone. If Earth was too a bit closer, we're not going to survive here. Frozen, and we all die. So yeah, 
is actually a blue color. We actually painted it wrong. <laughs> So, 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 Mars is this far away. Literally this far away. And did you know that Mars is two moons? Mercury doesn't have moons, Venus doesn't have moons, Earth has only one moon, but Mars is two. So, yeah. And NASA has been sending lots of missions to here to Mars and SpaceX is actually planning on colonizing Mars which is a shocking thing that I heard from Elon Musk the founder of SpaceX and moving on we are going to Jupiter the largest yeah, planet in our solar system This far away from our sun, this far away, and Jupiter is larger than all of the planets combined. It will literally take all the planets except for Jupiter com combined for two times to equal Jupiter. Isn't that shocking? strong effect on the sun which makes them makes the sun off balance which makes them something like orbiting each other it pulls the sun off center when it orbits and it takes 12 years which is one single Chinese zodiac which is wow that's a wow so I can tell me that's a wow and moving on to the glorious rings of Saturn. Saturn, Saturn, Saturn. The most beautiful planet in our solar system. My second favorite planet. This is Saturn. It's this far away. So it's this far away from our sun, this far away, this far away, and Saturn's rings are actually believed to actually come from a moon, which gets you close Let's kick. to its Roche limit, which is the limit where the gravitational pull will destroy the entire celestial body, which is like a moon. Yes, yep. 
Neptune. So Neptune is also called the twin of Uranus. This is the roughly the same size like Uranus and Earth. So Neptune is this far away from the sun, so far away that the sun could be just a has 14 moons. Unlike other gas giants like Jupiter or Saturn or Uranus which have more moons, Neptune has smaller, lesser moons like, because of its largest moon, Triton. Triton, Neptune's largest moon, is actually a dwarf planet and believed to have a moon which orbited it, orbited it like this. And when Neptune was knocked out by a planet who collided with it, it come too close to in interfere with Triton. It pulled it in and turned and rotated opposite, orbited opposite, and its moon. I don't know where it gone. That's kick. But this influenced the other moons and either flew out, collided with other moons, and maybe even sucked the parent planet, Neptune itself. Actually, one more bonus fact. this video bye like and subscribe and ring the bell bye